incorporated 250 years ago in 1787. Originally, the early settlers wanted to name the town Newcastle, but found that Newcastle had already been incorporated. Consequently, they decided to honor Colonel Theodore Atkinson, an owner of a large tract of land on Providence Hill. The colonel also happened to have many ties via marriage to the Wentworth family, a powerful family in the province of New Hampshire. The New Hampshire Scenic and Cultural Byways Council recently designated New Hampshire Route 121, also known as Main Street, as a scenic byway and it has become a part of the Robert Frost Old Stagecoach Byway which celebrates the history of the original Boston to Haverhill to Concord Stagecoach Route through southern New Hampshire. The 44 mile route begins in Atkinson. Most people who live in New Hampshire towns meet from time to time to discuss and resolve issues. Early on, meetings were held in private homes. Then, meetings were held in meeting houses that sprang up and later on in Atkinson, the Grange Building was used to meet after its construction in 1912. In 1984, the town approved the Warren article to build a town hall. The old Grange was demolished in 1986. However, stained glass windows from the Grange Building were kept and utilized in the town hall. Atkinson Academy, one of very few co-educational schools in the country during the early 1800s, was founded by Dr. William Cogswell, General Nathaniel Peabody, and Parson Stephen Peabody. The first school was built in 1787. In 1802, the first academy burned down, but a new academy was built in 1803, and since that time, many additions have been added and the academy still thrives as an elementary school today serving pre-k through fifth grade. Yes, Friends of the Library Group formed in 1972 to support a new library. In 1975, an open house was held in the newly completed library. Later, a, few, a full transition was made to the new Kimball Library from the Kimball House, also known as the Atkinson Historical Society, where the library had been located. Since then, many improvements to the Kimball Library have been accomplished, including a new amphitheater for outdoor entertainment. The Atkinson Historical Society was originally the home of Reverend Stephen Peabody. Later, Reverend Joseph Kimball purchased the home to be used as a library in 1907 and donated the house to the town of Atkinson. After the transition was made to the Kimball Library, the Kimball House has transitioned into the Kimball Museum, also known as the Atkinson Historical Society. The society functions to collect secure, preserve, and display items of historical value. It was founded as a historical society in 1954. The Atkinson Fire Department was built by volunteers in 1944. Since that time, additions have been put on and a fleet of well-equipped professional vehicles has been put together to serve and protect the town. The fire department is still run by volunteers. Many of them have been Atkinson Lions. Twelve years ago, a brand new firehouse was built at the top of Academy Ave. 
beautiful, functional building that serves the town well. The Atkinson Police Department was once a former church and school, the Rockwell School. Voters approved a warrant article to renovate the school for use as a police station. The new building was dedicated in 1994. Atkinson Lions have served with the police too. The Dow Common is a small parcel of land near the Atkinson Fire Department. It is a peaceful track of land where town ceremonies take place. It houses the Soldiers' Monument, which commemorates the soldiers who fought in the Civil War. Dedication of this monument occurred in 1888. The Atkinson Lions will dedicate a beautiful town clock in 2017 on our 250th anniversary as a town and the 100th anniversary of the founding of Lions. It is also the 40th anniversary of the charter of the Atkinson Lions Club. The Atkinson Community Center is the location for many activities in town. It is where the Atkinson Lions currently hold their business meetings every first Thursday of the month. Originally, the Community Center was a camp for underprivileged girls from the greater Boston area. In 1989, the town purchased the land and buildings and made various improvements to the property. Many town organizations have pitched in to help, including the Atkinson Lions, Garden Club, the Atkinson Women's Civic Club, and the Boy Scouts. Mail service in Atkinson has evolved over time. Finally, the Atkinson Post Office was dedicated in 1977. The Post Office serves the approximately 7,000 people who live in Atkinson. The town pound, originally built of stone on Main Street, was commissioned in 1787 to confine stray cattle, dogs, and other animals. Although no longer used other than as an attraction, the early pound keepers included William Page and, and the Grover family. Not many Atkinson residents know that the part of Atkinson is on Big Island Pond, just north of Route 111. The area is beautiful, and books have been written about the site, including Legends of the Pond, Stories of Big Island Pond, Atkinson, Derry, and Hampstead are, are the makeup of the pond. The book was written by Alfred E. Kayworth. The Atkinson Country Club and Resort is also part of the Atkinson Law. The Atkinson Lions have their monthly dinner meetings at this club on the third Thursday of the month. The resort is known for its beautiful golf course, dining facilities, and function halls. <laughs>